G'day and welcome to Great TV, uh, live on location in Sydney, Australia. I'm um, stoked to be joined with Ben. G'day Ben, how are you? Good, thank you. Nice to meet you. We want to talk today a little bit about um, Ben's choice of um, coming to One Steel um, and to try and give some information to Kiwis back home about um, potentially making the shift over and joining the team here. So um, Ben, tell us a little bit about your start and how you got to where you are now. So I pretty much did a chemical engineering degree and uh, combined that with a commerce degree at the University of Sydney. And then in my penultimate year, I joined the One Steel Summer Vacation Program, which I did down at Wyala. Um, I worked in mainly mines and export, did that for about three months and then headed back to uni. And then the One Steel Graduate Program applications opened, so I signed up to that, went through a selection process, and now I'm here in New South Wales working with them. So really quickly, Ben, um what do One Steel do? Well, One Steel probably have the most diverse range of operations out of any mining company within Australia. They not only excavate their own raw materials from mines in South Australia, but they also turn these raw materials into products that construction companies use. For example, my car in rotation here is reinforcing, and so we make a lot of mesh products, steel cages, and railway sleepers. So, um, for the Kiwis back home, thinking about shifting over to Australia, how have you found the transition in joining the team here in Sydney? Yeah, so I found the tra transition pretty easy. Um, one still, I, I mean, I, I was in Sydney, so moving here wasn't really much of a challenge, but in my previous summer role, I had to relocate to Wyala, and one still did that very well. They pretty much put me with other students who were also moving down to Wyala, and that pretty much erased any homesickness I had because I interacted with people my age. So tell us just quickly what you do on a typical day here at the park. In a typical day, I normally get into work between 7 and 7.30. First thing I do is I head out to the ground and just talk to the operators about what's been happening. One of my wire projects concerns how we make ground a wire, so I go talk to a specific operator about what's happened the night shift because I'm usually not here for that. And then it's really back to the office and I start brainstorming ideas based on what I've heard about how to overcome our problems. And uh, what's something that sort of surprised you about um, joining the One Steel team? Um, I think the thing that surprised me most was how friendly the people were. Obviously a lot of my work over here is project based so I, I have to interact with the operators, floor staff, supervisors and team leaders. And I was just overwhelmed by the amount of support they've given me. And the HR here is extremely friendly too. Um, I'm actually an international student, so it's a bit hard for international students to secure graduate programs. But one still went above and beyond to find a solution to that, and now I'm on a permanent basis. So, um, Ben, thanks very much for taking some time out to talk to us. Um, hopefully it gives the Kiwi grads um, a bit of food for thought about uh, shifting across to Tasman and joining a great company like OneSteel. Thanks. No worries, thank you.